right, so this is the last video. There's uh, my space for my quarter berth. We still gotta take out this last uh, piece here. Uh, bulkhead. Uh, I just wanna move it forward a little bit and then put a little bit on the side and a door to get in there. Uh, but just to do a quick look, it goes back pretty far. So it should be for a good quarter bed. Um, and then there'll be like a little settee here and a closet. And this will be where the captain station is and all the chart table on the outside. And this will be the settee going across. Over here, the galley. And over here, the head. And shower in this whole section here. So that's, uh, that's the project. So signing off. Uh, all, I guess all the future videos will be for building and repairing, uh, just like the floor here. Uh, I think I'm done demolishing, except for uh, actually behind that bulkhead is the uh, holding tank for the head. And I'm switching this to composting head, so I won't need it, and that'll give me a little bit extra space in there. So I do want to take that out. So uh, I still have to do that. Actually. So there's still a few, few more things. And then I'm going to start sanding painting, putting up all of my, uh, my sub floor, all of the, uh, the sections of the galley, all the wood and everything. So um, I might move that bulkhead two feet, uh, it's still undecided in the front. Uh, if you take a look at the picture here, that's kind of what I'm building. And uh, in this uh, model, the SETI is actually two feet more into that room and I actually have 10 feet, it's very deep in there. So moving that two feet isn't gonna do anything in terms of um, the room to sleep, for example, on the V-berth. Uh, it'll still be very big and I'll just move the door to fold out instead of in. So that's, uh, that's the plan for over there. So, uh, signing off, thank you. Uh, the support I appreciate all your support and uh, if you have any comments on what I'm doing or suggestions uh, please uh, let me know and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye well, time to take this atomic four out the uh, first thing I took off was the uh, the alternator it sits right here with the belt and tell them this bracket, which goes here, connects on the back of the alternator, and the top of the alternator goes through those pegs there. So basically, just take off those two bolts, and uh, I just take, I'm taking everything as much off as I can to lighten it up. Because when I pull this engine out, I'm gonna have to manhandle parts of it, and I know it's a few pounds, so I'm gonna do my best to take off as much as we can. So uh, the next thing I'm going to be taking off is the uh, the V-Drive. And I'm not 100% too sure the right way to do it here, but uh, basically this is the V-Drive and the shaft is right below. So this these bolts hold the shaft onto the V-Drive. Um, and I'm not too sure what holds the V-Drive onto here, but I'm guessing with the gasket here that there's oil. I know there's oil in here, but this one here just doesn't look like it's been taken off before, so I'm not too sure which one to take off. So I'm going to loosen these and see if oil drips out. And if oil drips out, well then that's not the one I want. And if I take this one off and oil drips out, well then I better drain all the oil out of this thing. So that's the next plan here. All right, so getting the V-Drive out, I've taken the, the bolts off here. And tapped at the bottom, and this is what she looks like. So there's this bolt here on the shaft. You just basically loosen that, and then uh, just gave it a bit of a tap. Came off pretty simple. Oh, there's a little uh, bronze in here that goes right in there the shaft cool. it goes in here to here that's 
what creates the wedge in place of the uh, for the shaft to hold. It's kind of oily, but now, more importantly, my stuffing box and shaft now is actually separated from the engine. So. Uh, or put a pulley on it right on that shaft I get something machined and then do like a belt system yeah that's probably what I'll do so I'll put a, a belt on there so for now this is just like a big huge universal joint to uh, help control the angles a little bit off here inside All right, so that's the V-Drive, and uh, what do they call it, direct gear drive or something? I call it the V-Drive because it goes backwards, but I think it's actually called the gear drive. So basically, the engine's turning, it turns this here, and then that turns the prop. And it is full of oil, so I'm not going to move it, I'm just going to leave it here. I'm going to grab a box to put it in so there's parts or pieces. So that's the V-Drive off and dismantled. And uh, I'm also going to go get my oil kit because I never dropped the oil and I didn't realize there was that much oil in there. But I guess it makes sense. See, that's kind of where the back of the engine is. In terms of uh, complexity though, it's pretty easy to get off. And I'm just going to put, uh, take a picture to remind me of what it looks like. Awesome. 
just a big holder basically, that's about it. Easy to remember how that goes. So uh, that's the back that's the back of the motor. And uh, this here is my prop shaft that turns. So all of that alignment is basically uh, comes out, goes into the gear drive and goes back onto the, uh, the shaft here. continue my quest to lower the weight so I'm going to take just even the fuel pump off um, hoses up here. take the uh, distributor cap uh, or the plugs out cap or that the thing weighs only about five pounds or two pounds or something I'm gonna leave all these hoses on um, whether I take the head off or not I don't know head weighs about 30 pounds but it basically once I get these bolts down here I you know I gotta take these motor mounts off. So taking those out we'll see how heavy it is. It's supposed to be about 350 pounds to 500 pounds somewhere in that range. I don't know exactly um, but I'll see if I can slide it out or get it off or wiggle it or do something. So if I can kind of move it at all, then I'll work with it. Otherwise I'm gonna wait for the crane and then I gotta get a, a clip into this hole here to hoist hoist it from the head. So I need the head on to do that and it won't really matter too much. But So still gonna take the starter off, which is here. Uh, might take the fly plate cover off, uh, take all the exhaust manifold out. So there's a few things here left to do. So, uh, signing off on this one. First wall going up. Basically I used um, the existing wall and I built off of it.